Welcome back to Road Race Retro. I've never seen that that bad for ages, you know. The rack, the rack will not be attached, will it? Just never expect to be there, would you? So we've got some sort of pulp going to pack up on us. Oh, we've got some power still, like. Eh? Oh. YB back to HQ uh, and our prep centre. We're going to move this one down to uh, Triple R at Darwin, so that's where it will be viewable. And as you probably already guessed from obviously pulling the car up the tidy hall, the car is actually for sale. Uh, this car belonged to a good friend of mine who bought it as an investment but wants to free up some capital, so that's how we've ended up getting the car and we are going to be advertising for sale so if you do see the video and think somebody might be interested in the yb mark one uh, feel free to like share and subscribe share the video and see if we can get some interest in it but i thought what we would do is obviously it was nice pulling out the tidy hole and showing you earlier in the video kind of how we picked it up etc but the car itself is is just flawless it's absolutely stunning so i just thought i'd give you all a little look at the mark one and see what you think I'm sure everybody will like it, but I'll get in depth, I'll show you the engine bay, uh, we'll have a look at the interior, and I'll just show you around the bodywork, the paint is fantastic, it's got that beautiful five pin rear axle setup. Uh, it's got a quaff diff in it, we run in a fully forged YP engine with pocketed pistons, uh, I believe it's T34 turbo, I might be wrong, there'll be lots of RS boffins obviously watching this video, they'll know more about this than I will, that's the internet, there's already somebody who, who, who kind of knows more. But let's get into it and I'll show you the Mark 1. So as you can see, obviously we've got a really nice front mount cooler. The paint is just beautiful, don't get us wrong. This will be detailed, ready for the prospective buyer, new keeper. The wheels, I'm not going to lie, those aren't really to my taste. I think we could have some better wheels on there to finish that car. But as you can see, she's absolutely gorgeous. Just such a nice car. Obviously being built to in, well, it's been built like a race car to be fair, but as you can see, we've got the fuel cell in the back. Inside, obviously we've got a flock dash. We've got the aircraft switch there at the arm, the fuel pump and a push button start. Uh, all the brake lines are run inside the car, flock dash. We've also got a full race tech clock set um, and those infamous Fiesta RS Turbo Recaros, they look to me like they're in original condition. Don't think they've had a retrim either, but they look really well. Obviously, as you can see, she has got a full cage in there as well with something like this. And the way that I would want to drive it, I would definitely want to have that roll cage in there. Bear with us two seconds and we'll uh, we'll have a look under the bonnet. Just put that down because I'm on my own today. This is going to be difficult, I've just thought. We don't actually have a bonnet stay, so... Uh, yeah, take your phone back out. And hopefully I'll just have to hold it with one hand. So there we are. Um, how did I feel when we picked this car up? Obviously the Mark 1 to me has always been something that was very special. That I never thought that we would get the opportunity to get this close to. Um, and when the cover came off to me, it, it, it's, I can only really describe it like 
when you go to the fairground as a kid I'll just show you in close and you get those butterflies when you go on the fairground rise that that is how this car makes me feel I think it's a very special bit of kit and something like this only comes along once in a blue moon but you can see the level of detail that somebody's gone to obviously wasted spark conversion it's just absolutely stunning I'll show you the inside just drop that yeah so as you can see I'll get in close I'll show you we're on I believe we're on gas suspension as well I'll show you up inside the arch just to give you an idea of the quality you can see how clean it is in there typical old Ford I'm not gonna lie I can't even open this door at the minute I don't know why it seems to have come off a catch and see him inside the handle doesn't work but yes there's the old school RS Recaro's there's those race tech clocks I'll obviously show you them a little bit better and the rate race tech air to fuel ratio which is a nice thing to have just make sure it's not running obviously well most importantly two lanes so it doesn't melt anything cage in the back Round. So this car itself um, is actually a sale or return vehicle. I don't own this car. Uh, it still belongs to the previous owner, but we're quite lucky. We've been doing this game quite a while now, and we do get a lot of sale or return cars where people do trust us with stuff and give us an opportunity to sell their pride and joy, which for me personally um, is a small sense of achievement. It's nice to have people trusting you with nice cars like this, and it is something that we do a lot of. Um, so if you're looking and you're doesn't matter where you're on the country if you would like your car sold on sale or return we have quite a good network of customers um, both in the UK uh, we have customers in Germany we have customers in Spain Portugal France we sold cars all around the world and things like this normally do get bought well generally by wealthy people and some of them do live abroad we've sent a couple of cars to Marbella um, so yeah if you do like the idea of sale or return then it is a great opportunity if you don't really want to deal with awkward punters because punters can be a pain in the ass. nobody likes selling cars but hell I do it every day and, and even I hate selling cars so if you do have something that you would like us to sell um, feel free to let us know what I'm going to do is as well um, obviously we've got the permission to drive the car I'm not going to drive it a day but I've spoke to um, Adam Smith obviously he was another local lad who's got a really uh, strong YouTube channel lovely fella and he wants to come down and do a video on the car so I think um, if we can get a new battery on the car it's flat at the minute that we're going to have a ride out with Adam so you'll see Adam put a video up very shortly and we'll get a ride out with Adam in the car and we'll, we'll see what it goes like but thanks for staying tuned obviously I hope you do like the Mark 1 it's an outstanding video I am going to put a part 2 up to this as well once the car goes down to um, its eternal resting place down to Triple R at Dalton we're going to do a video on the showroom down there and um, what we'll do is whoever decides to buy the car will also do a video with a handover to the new owner as long as he's fine with that. But again, thanks for staying tuned to Triple R. Thanks for watching the videos. Don't forget, hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon to see the updates on all of our latest videos. And I'll, I'll see you all soon.